The lateral malleolus is a very prominent bone at the distal end of the fibula, which forms the lateral aspect of the ankle joint and is easily visible and palpable. The medial malleolus is the distal aspect of the tibia and lines the medial part of the ankle joint. By drawing your fingers anteriorly from the malleoli, we can find and grip the neck of the talus. If we grip this area and get the patient to invert and evert, we can feel the talus rock from side to side within the joint. With plantar flexion, we can move upwards towards the ankle joint and palpate the talar dome. Palpating this area is important when looking for osteochondral or cartilage injuries. Passing anteriorly to the neck of the talus, we find the navicular, a prominent bone at risk of avascular necrosis due to the poor blood supply. We can find the prominent navicular tubercle on the medial aspect of the foot where the tibialis posterior tendon attaches. The calcaneus or heel bone is found beneath the talus and at the posterior aspect of the foot. With eversion, we can travel one centimeter down from the medial malleolus and feel the blunt horizontal ridge of the sustentaculum tali running anteriorly and posteriorly. The base of the fifth metatarsal is a prominent lateral bone which serves as the attachment for the peroneus brevis and tertius muscles. It is usually quite prominent and by passing medially we come to the broad cuboid bone which is in line with the fourth and fifth metatarsals. The medial, intermediate and lateral cuneiform bones line up with the first, second and third metatarsals respectively. And so by identifying these bones, we can then move distally through each metatarsal.